tragic news today. I'm your host, Zan, and this is Spyrokin Manga News. Earlier today, it was announced that one of the greatest manga of all time has died. Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dr. Slump, Sandland, and most famously, the Dragon Ball franchise, died on May 1st at the age of 68 years old. It was announced that he died of an acute subdermal hematoma, meaning bleeding in the brain. And this is a shock for all of us, from manga fans, anime fans, video game fans, everyone, because this was someone we did not expect to pass away. He's one of the big, great mangakas, and it is a shame that he passed away at this time. Um, he's going to be remembered for not only the many manga series that he worked on and the anime adaptations which were inspired by that, but also for being the game design, designer for so many video games, such as Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, which is the one I remember him for most, and the Blue Dragon series. This is one of those things where it's just shocking that it happened. None of us expected it, and, well, yeah, it is a tragedy. Um, his family had a private funeral earlier this week, and they are not accepting any gifts, visits, offerings, or any interviews at this time. Uh, Bird Studios that Toriyama designed and created is going to be holding a commemorative gathering in the near future. However, for right now, just going to have to keep words on it. And many people are affected by this, and it is kind of shocking to see so much love for... Toriyama-san. I mean, when you see Jackie Chan writing about it, it's kind of shocking. I found out about this morning at 3 a.m. because I was up scrolling through Twitter randomly and just saw it. So, yeah. So, what was the moment that made you love Akira Toriyama? Was it you were someone who loved Dragon Ball from Toonami? Were you someone who liked Sandland? Were you someone who loved Chrono Trigger and loves art design? Let me know. You can email me personally at Zan, that's X-A-N, Spyrokin.com, or tweet me at Spyrokin. And, well, I think that's all we could really say, but thank you very much, Toriyama Sound, for everything you've done. Thank you, and have a very good day.